Ever since starting But Does It Work On Real Hardware, I've had a generous amount of requests. Try this Sonic ROM hack, test that Sonic ROM hack, etc etc. But this poses two problems. One, I have played a lot of them before. Yeah, emulated and not on real hardware, so the question still remains unanswered. And secondly, a few of these hacks I could try, but the video only lasts two minutes. So I thought, hey, let's mix a few of them together. In today's showcase, the majority will be coming from the Mega Drive, although we will have one from the predecessor and another from the Mega CD. And we'll be testing games from the pure and elegant right up to... Why am I doing this to myself? Welcome to Random Sonic Hacks, but does it work on real hardware? Just before we start, I hope you don't mind, but I just had a bite to eat and I need to feed my pet hedgehog. Just won't be a minute. There you go, little fella. You aren't eating all day, have you? Oh, just um, slow down, steady on a bit. I mean, you want to save some for later, don't you? Sonic, I think that's a little bit too much. I think you need to calm down now. Look, I think you've had way too much, okay? I think you just need to stop. You are what you eat and you don't want to die. He just died. Yes, this is Sonic 2 XL, and the rings have been replaced with onion rings. It's the same principle, they help prevent you from dying, but they also make Sonic gain weight, which inevitably makes him slower. And soon he won't be able to jump as high, or won't be able to roll at all, and it disqualifies him from the spin dash. In order to lose the weight, you have to do a bit of exercise, including running and jumping, or find these randomly placed question marks to clear your state. Hey man, you've only got yourself to blame here. Actually no, we can blame that fox as well. Whenever he collects the rings, it's Sonic that puts on the pounds. I wish I had Tails' metabolism. I didn't have the patience to play the whole game, I tried a few levels and everything that I threw at it worked perfectly fine. This game is a bit of a challenge and you need to require that state of strategy in your mind. And having a fetish of Sonic growing some moves, that will help. Does Sonic 2 XL work on real hardware? Yes it does. So the next game I have on the list is Sonic a very useful engine? Sounds interesting. Thomas was everywhere. Thomas is everywhere apparently. And, well, I would hardly call everywhere. He's on the flowers, but he's not on my life icon. Uh, the rings have been changed to Thomas. Oh, okay, yeah, the rings have definitely got Thomas's face. And so is Sonic! So all I need to get is one ring and suddenly I have Thomas the Tank Engine plastered over my face. <sighs> Oh wow, the bandits have been changed. <laughs> and I love the piranhas, they're actual trains. I like trains. And even though I find it strange listening to Thomas's theme tune, I much prefer over Green Hill. But not that I have anything against Green Hill's music, I'm just like, I've overheard it. So a lot of art has been changed to have Thomas's face pictured everywhere. But apart from that, you've got your typical Sonic 1 gameplay. The original Green Hill level design, the objects act in the exact same way. And the boss is the Fat Controller! Or whatever he's called now. Uh, why is Miley Cyrus here? I don't know what to say about this, I really don't. But the music is not that good. I think I'd rather listen to the original mutton. Actually, no, no, scratch that! I got up to Spring Yard Zone and I thought, yeah, I'll call it a day there. Does Sonic the Useful Engine work on real hardware? It sure does. On to something a little bit more serious now. Who fancies a game of Sonic Boom? No, 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 I don't mean the game for the Wii U. I mean the Monopoly board game, let's go. Now nah, I'm kidding of course, this is Sonic Boom. Just before we start the game, I went to quickly check out Sound Test. And even though it looks simplistic, it's actually pretty neat. Sometimes small things can go a long way. As for the game itself, everything here seems to be super fast. Sonic's acceleration's been given a tremendous boost, and he's got a fair amount of new tricks up his sleeve, including the drop kick and the air kick, at the cost of some rings, and a double jump which is totally free. You can also hurl yourself straight to the floor if that helps you in any way, and I must say that the bosses are technically impressive. While it all sounds well and dandy, the game started to grind my gears pretty quick. The level design is not all that great. I mean, I kept getting hurt over and over. I died so many times at the boss that when I restarted this bit, this lightning strike got me all the time. And come on, spring into spikes, give me a break. 
and I'm pretty sure these bosses were built with save states in their mind. But everything appears to be 100% operational. But at the end of the day, does that really matter? Because let's face facts, you're all here to see if the fire chase bit works. And the credits, of course, we gotta make sure that's working. Oh, right, okay, so far so good. The fire chaser bit is working, but oh, well, it is right on my tail, and I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to get to the end of this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Come on, come on. I've died so many times. Look, look, look please. Have we done it? We've done it. Oh, oh, finally. Finally. Oh, sweet hallelujah. Sonic escaped at 3 after, I'm not kidding, half an hour. That took me half an hour to do. Does it work on real hardware? Yes, it does. Oh, I'm finally, I just accidentally skipped the credits because I dropped my controller. Okay, before I burst the blood vessel, I think it's time that we just step back from the Mega Drive and enter the realm of the Master System. Where here we'll be chilling out with Sonic the Hedgehog 2 LD. LD standing for low definition. But don't let that title fool you, because look at that exquisite art! Ooh! This hack reimagines what Sonic 2 from the Mega Drive would look like onto the Master System. I have to say that the art style is spot on for Emerald Hill, and with the music taking the 8 bit approach, it definitely holds its own. And while the bad dick mechanics haven't changed a bit, the sprite work has, and it actually works really well. Plenty of passages work where they should be, and even though the background isn't vertically placed correctly, I definitely admire the view. However, there are some caveats to this game. Unfortunately, the loops don't work, even though they did in the original Sonic 2 Master System, so I'm not sure what's going on there. The boss routine remains unaltered, albeit the sprite work has been updated, and even though you go through all that trouble to save your friends, the animals are just like, no, we're comfortable in here, thank you very much. You then get told that Chemical Plant will return in Episode 2, which is nowhere to be seen online. And then that's it. Credits. And no more to it. But there is. If you actually go over to the right, and then jump over, you jump again, you then start falling down. Into a secret area, which I like to call Mario World. Thank you Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Toad, he's always there first, he always beats me! You then get thrown into Mario's world, which is actually pretty neat. Although I think everything's oversized for Sonic. Although that's no problem for him, he's still demolishing all the bricks. He's even able to take secret passages, how about that? I'm underground, that's what I'm called! Then after all that, Sonic gets thrown in jail. Does Sonic 2 LD work on real hardware? Yes. Alright, now that I've had time to calm down, I think we can go back to the Meg Drive. Um, what's next? Oh no. Oh no, it's Arma Chow! It's Sonic 1 Arma Chow! Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Um, okay, let's just load it up. Um. Um. Oh no, it doesn't appear to load! I tried reloading it into the memory and no dice. I then tried on my Power Mega Drive, because I know what happened to Sonic 2 Heroes, so this time I am double checking, and zero luck. I then tried my favourite emulator, Kega Fusion, which the game appears perfectly fine. I then tried on Regen, knowing to be an accurate emulator. I was really expecting it not to load up, but colour me surprised, there it is. However, when I tried on Blastem, up upon startup, we do get a fatal error. I think that's enough proof for me. Does Sonic 1 on my child work on real hardware? No. I've got one more Mega Drive hack to show you, but just before we do, I thought we'll upgrade to the Mega CD. And this one is literally called Sonic for Mega CD, created by Stealth. This game is pretty much as you would expect. It contains the first level from both Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, as well as a warp area containing some secrets. You can collect these S monitors that change your character, and you can collect these goggles which appear to do nothing apparently. Entering into Green Hill lets you play Act 1, 2 and 3. And with the exception that Sonic can now spin dash, you can probably predict what it's going to be like. Exactly the same as it shows on the Mega Drive. And even though big rings do display themselves at the end of the act, you can't actually warp to the special stages. You can also play as Tails and Knuckles and both of these characters contain all of their abilities. However, when you enter Sonic 2's Emerald Hill Zone, things start to go a little bit downhill. 
Hypocritically to what the sound test says, there's no music or sound effects within the game. And it appears in just the most random of places, the game will just freeze. And there we go, it's now, it's now crashed. I'm, I'm literally, you can, you can see me, I'm pressing the start button, pressing the start button, nothing, nothing's happening. You've got two test zones to try out, even though they're super duper short. However, you get this nice music to it, and this actual CD audio. And when you change character, Tails is golden brown. Not sure what they're trying to get out there. And when you change Knuckles, he's just covered himself in way too much Vaseline. So for the most part, everything appears to be working, although there are a few game bacon... Bacon? Does Sonic for Mega CD work on real hardware? Well, despite it being a proof of concept, I'm still going to give it the partial rating. Time for the last hack of the night, and we're backing up to the Mega Drive, with a game called... Yeth. Yeth. It's one of those games with an original character, and as soon as you proceed onto the first level... Yeah, I don't actually know what to say here. I know at my age my eyesight is meant to be diminishing, but this is just taking the mickey. So except for a lot of object art being replaced, Green Hill Zone appears to be pretty much the same. Except from Eggman's Wrecking Ball which has turned into... I think that's just my expression right now. Moving on to Marble and... Oh gracious! When I first laid my eyes on it, I knew I wasn't going to enjoy it. But after a few minutes, I've never seen art like this but it actually works really well. However, this style just... works. Entering Spring Yard, everything just appears to be monochrome. Okay, and yet again the level maps have been altered, which I actually like. Next we enter the water which makes Yef go super duper fast, because physics. And then we enter three years old. <laughs> oh, I don't really know what's meant to be happening here. I guess they're not meant to be his parents, yet they just seem to get a bit more evil and completely disfigured. And then I... I what? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh no! I was actually enjoying that! Oh! No, hang on! It's the Mega Mix thing over again. Press C button and he moves on. Oh! No! Oh. Looks like the game's okay? Maybe it was an invalid object. Because here we are, we're, we're still moving! Okay, so the life counter's now glitched up. But, I mean, I can live with that. I mean, I think we're even at the end there. We're at the end. Okay, phew. So it's not a game-breaking bug. It just caught me off guard. Don't think this is meant to happen. I then tried it on the emulator Kager, and you get the same glitchy mess. Which does mean that except for that little crash that we had, but we were able to bypass by pressing the C button, it seems to work really well, and I'm not going to lie, even with its silliness, I actually really enjoyed that. I'm not sure if there's much else that I can say. Maybe White Streak speeds by... Yes. Oh, okay, I really don't know what else to say, but I think it's clear on what the answer is. Does Yeth work on real hardware? It's always when I'm in the middle of recording. Hello? Hey man, it's me, Ant Dude. Uh, I was just wondering, why are you using one of my phrases in your video? Hmm? Oh, you mean the white streak expression? Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I should have asked you first. Nah, nah, you're cool, Red Hot Sonic. Actually, it's pretty satisfying hearing something I said catch on so well. But that being said, I do need to apologize. You do? Well, what are you sorry for? Well, for this. Does Yeth work on real hardware? Yeth. I mean, yes. Oh man, no! Oh, oh, you just stole my thunder! Karma likes to strike fast, Red Hot Sonic. Uh, I don't believe he just did that. Uh, well, I kind of did steal his saying, and he is right. Yef does work on real hardware. Do you know what? I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night. Take care. <laughs> Hello? Did you just seriously steal my signature line? Johnny, I'm glad that you called. Look, I can explain. There'd be bloodshed. What? There'd be a massacre. 
No, hang on. No, come on a minute. Most importantly, there'll be litigation. No, I'm sorry! Oh.